so hey guys i am back with another video i know long time no see but i am back with my march 2024 budget with me and we'll get into some things so stay tuned So first things first, I have like a new setup going on. I don't know how I feel about it. I tried to be done with the arm that I was filming with, but it seems like I might can't get away for it for right now until I figure out like what my setup is going to be. So if you see like some shaking or anything like that, please do not be alarmed. Um... I basically got to get myself together. But if this is your first time coming across my channel, hi, my name is Cheryl. I'm on a financial journey to having a better relationship with money. So if you're interested in following me along, then make sure that you like this video right now and you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So I haven't said that in a long time. And I don't, I don't know. I think the last video I filmed might have been in December. I don't even think I finished out my December budget. I don't even think I went too far into my December budget. Today's video is going to be a little bit long. So if you're not interested in that, I am going to try to put like timestamps so you can fast forward to the budget if that's what you would like to see. But basically, your girl around, I was really stressed out at my job, long story short, and I quit my job quit my job without having a really a backup plan. I had some money in savings thanks in part to the budgeting that I was doing. Um, so I was able to maintain for these last couple of months that I haven't been filming with you guys. Um, so yeah, that's why I've been at. I've been just trying to get my life together. Um, I bought a, a camera as you can see. But I haven't figured out like my setup with that. So I'm still like filming on my phone. That's why I said my setup is going to be a little bit janky. So I just figure out what I'm going to be doing. Um, But for now, let's just go ahead and get into the budget. So I'm starting off with my monthly overview. Um, If you guys are new, again, like I'm saying, my new people that will see this video, this is how I do like to look at my month because before I go in and actually do my budget for the month, I just like to have a place where I can see um, all of my bills and my paydays and stuff. I actually didn't put down my paydays and that's only because I don't have, I haven't printed off any payday stickers, which is weird. Um, and I know I probably have some somewhere. I think I actually used the one from out of my kit from before. I just don't know where the stick is at. I'm about to print off some new ones. That's fine. I'll go ahead and do it. But for right now, my paydays are not listed here. But I do like to make my key for my expense trackers as well as go ahead and put in all of my bills for the month just so I know when they're coming out versus when I get paid. I am going to be getting paid on Fridays, possibly Wednesdays. It depends on um, the processing. I am going to be using Chime. So most of the time I do get paid before my actual Friday pay date. Hopefully it's going to be here. I'm starting a new job. I don't start it actually to the fourth. So we'll figure that out. I actually haven't set up my planner with you guys. I haven't set up my planner at all, as you can see. So I have to get all of this stuff done. Um, I did like some little mock planning for February. I had some sales in the shop. So that's that. So now let's go ahead and get into the budget. So I did just to make sure everything was not you know, such a long out drawn out thing. I did go ahead and lay down my stickers in advance. These are from my shop, the budget spot. Um, March is currently still up if you guys are interested, but April and March are actually up together. So there's that. Um, I am gonna start off with my income from my job. So we're gonna put job and budgeted is going to be 3000 I also I have a lot of stuff going on 
I'm going to put variable income just in case. Um, and I'm not going to budget anything for there, but I am going to have a placeholder just in case. Um, I do have income tax coming. I also have, um, you know, stuff for my shop. But I'm not exactly sure if um, I'm going to be moving that over into my budget. So I'm just going to leave it like this just, just for now. Um, so my income is going to be 3000 I'm also in the process of trying to move, trying to find an apartment. So I am all, I'm just like all over the place. If you see shaking, I do apologize. I just kind of the reason why I wanted to leave the arm alone that's actually attached like to my desk and i don't know if it's because it's like plastic or whatever let me just make sure that i'm still in frame um that it shakes like that when the table move it actually could be the table as well i just don't know um so let's go ahead and start with my fixed expensive expenses if you don't know my fixed expenses are going to be my bills i do cash stuff my bills it's just the easiest way to make sure that the money is there for my bills and that i can pay it if not i know myself I'm not going to be able to keep track of it in the bank account. Get myself more disciplined in that aspect as well. So rent is going to be $850 for now until we actually move. And it's looking like it's going to go up where I live at. Um, the rent prices has jumped significantly since I moved out here. Um, and that's basically for inflation. So thank you for that. My PSE and G bill is going to be one ninety three. I'm actually not sure why this has jumped up as well. I'm actually paying more than what I'm using, so we'll see for that. Um, my cell phone. I usually budget eighty five dollars, but it's been coming in at seventy one. So I think the credit that I got for my new phone is actually starting to hit um, my account right now. So when it comes to my Metro card. Let's go 200. I'm not sure if this is gonna stay the way that it's supposed to stay. And then subs is gonna be 150. I'm gonna have to figure that out as well too. It's a lot of things that I'm gonna be moving in and out of my budget for purposes that we'll talk about later i'm gonna skip a line just because i do not like having that that you're gonna get fined because people do that a lot all right so we have 850 plus 193 plus 71 plus 200 plus 150 equals 1464 dollars and now let's go ahead and start with but let's go ahead and list out my variable expenses, which is gonna be um, my cash envelope. So we're gonna go groceries. And I'm gonna budget 150 for this month, if I even use that. Then we have eating out which I'm actually gonna decrease to $75 and not 100. Just because where I'm gonna be working at is gonna provide the food. So this is just like, if I'm home, like I, I order Uber Eats, so it's fine. Travel is gonna be $50. beauty i always put 50 but i don't know if it's necessary for me to do 50 dollars. but i'm gonna do 50 dollars for the month because to be honest i only get like a pedicure so i probably in my eyebrows so i probably don't need that much but we'll see i don't know what the hell that was beeping 
planning we're gonna get fifty dollars allowance is also going to be fifty dollars okay so the rest of this is basically going to be in voice over mode because i am so out of whack with filming y'all that i was on the phone and doing my budget and totally forgot that i was filming so i will be adding a hundred dollars to my household fund which you guys already know if you have watched my videos that i use that for the month and then i'm gonna go ahead and add an unbudgeted section that's just for anything that is coming out of the month that i didn't plan for but i don't allocate any money towards that because it's besides the point if you know what i'm saying <laughs> so now i'm going to go ahead and section off the bottom and then i'm just going to go over some changes that's going to be happening so my daughter is going to be going to japan the japan trip costs five thousand four hundred dollars so you're not going to see this in my actual budget. I don't know why I list that. And it's probably why I left that little mark there. So I could go ahead and add Japan there. But currently it's getting paid off um, into next year because they actually go on a trip next year. So the monthly payment is about $350. And then in my savings, I'm going to allocate the rest of the money that I have left over in the month. If I do, because this actual budget that I did was for four weeks, even though there's five weeks in March, I might not be getting a fourth paycheck just because when I am starting. So it might not be for that amount of money. If it's not, I do have some variable income that's coming in for this month that I will discuss when I do do my budget closeout for March. But anyway, secret funds will be $200 and we'll get into the secret funds once I have got to that video. But I am going to go ahead and close out all of my totals just so I know where I'm at for the month. And I'm going to speed through this just because I am not talking and I am doing a voiceover. So it's kind of redundant. But I do want to thank you guys so much for my support. I really haven't lost any followers or gained any new followers. And I'm fine with that because I have been missing for about probably three to four months. But I am back. Have to get my life on track. I child i've just been all over the place so i would like to thank you guys for all your support also the stickers that you see here today are from my shop thebudgetspot.com so if you would are interested or would like to check it out you can go ahead and go over there to the website and check out what i have available march will probably be up for one more day but april is definitely up already in the shop as well as some other things if you're interested in looking at them and what's more if you haven't already, give this video a like right now. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Leave me a little hey girl hey in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Or even when you just want to ask me like, girl, where you been? Because I know I've been missing. And thank you so much. I will see you guys on the next video.